Okay, so if I speak a bit fast, if nobody tells me, I'm not gonna know. Okay, so please when I go a bit fast, let me know, okay? Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, remember I said I'm gonna point out two more locations we can do. After our tour, number one, on the opposite side of the building, that open door, it's called the Grain Cellar. On the inside, it's called the Fired Exhibition. It's in connection with African and International Ceramics, okay? Number four, after our tour. Number five, up the staircase, through the arch. Another staircase that will take you up. So on top, at the back of the building, to the left. A staircase going down. On the right, you find the prison cells. All the woodwork on the inside of the prison cells. It's still the original from back then as well. As all the carvings, or like I say in my language, all the chappies on the wooden frames and doors. Still the original carvings done by the prisoners themselves. Please allow me to ask two very quick questions. Is anybody claustrophobic? Is anybody in a bang group? Scary pants, no? Number two. Except for me, who else is afraid of the dark? Okay, you'll definitely test that theory, no worries, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be careful of the single step. Once you move forward, four steps going down. The toilet foot, please be careful of the heads. Please, no damages to the building, okay? And number three, this is most important. Inside the room, in the center of the floor, there's a big glass plate laying there. The hole underneath is to be 10 meters deep. Please do not step on the glass plate, okay? We fall down that hole, you land up in China, you don't come back. <laughs> and this is just... 10 step China. Head step China, please be careful. Head step man, please be careful. China's in the middle, head step in China, sir. Head step. So is this a dungeon for enslaved Africans, stolen Africans? Head step in China. Just okay, like that. Head step in China. These people build these step things step all over the place and torture people. Head step in China. 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 Just be careful of the whole chain in the center. Okay, we good? Right, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, obviously, and also pretty quickly. So I came inside the room first, correct? And immediately, when everyone else came in here, you got this very bad smell, correct? But as we all know, we are still struggling with the water problem we have, okay, correct? So I humbly apologize for the smell in the room, okay? My time to take a bath is next week only, okay? And I'm joking, no fresh air comes inside this room. No. Now, I've mentioned the names of the five corners. We are all standing on the inside of one of them. That funny word, Kapsen Ellenbogen. Ellenbogen, an Afrikaans or Dutch word for elbow. Now, this room used to be the ammunition room, but it also used to be the closest point to the beach. Remember Strand Street behind these walls? So, back in the days, what? All the gunpowder and weapons were stored right here during high tide. When the sea level rose, the water would push through the walls with everything on the inside, even though they had the same hole. Oh, remember I said it falls down there in Lena in China? So today, too, we have learned why the Chinese population is so big. All of them check on that hole there. Okay? <laughs> now they tried using that hole as a draining system. It did not work. Why? It was too close to the beach. The water rose back up, still with everything on the inside. But later, they discovered when the sea used to be so close, this room stayed cold. It was then put to their better use. Then it became their wine cellar and butter cellar. We got a cool word on the cake that we so must say small for the end. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure who's been in the past, but for those who were, who actually agree with me on my next point. For many, many years, this room was mistakenly misidentified, wrongly named the dungeon or the dark hole. Now studies has proven two reasons why that was not possible. Number one, see the curved passage there? Mm -hmm. Should any explosion take place right here, that area would fall in. Whoever's inside will be trapped. And number two, the door, no one way locked. That means you close the door from the outside, person standing on the inside, they can't open it. Your cell phones right now, 
has no network coverage. There's one problem. Whoever gets locked in this room and nobody hears you scream for help on the outside, this room only has enough oxygen for one person. Maximum time, 12 hours only. <laughs> Remember my second question? Who was afraid of the dark except me? Nobody was? Oh, we had a lady? Yeah. And then? So now we're going to test that theory, okay? So what I'm very, very quickly going to do. No, no, it's going to be very quickly. I'm going to pull the door close very quickly, I promise. I'm going to switch off the light very quickly, and I'll be back in 30 minutes, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no means of any sound and flashes, no means of any light. Everybody, yes. please, you may take one hand, keep it as close to your face as possible. Try and see okay. if you can see a hand. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, you see a hand in the dark. It's not yours. <laughs> 30 minutes, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's how dark the room gets, but clearly I can tell. 50% of us standing inside the room are 100% South Africans. We all used to look shading, I can tell. And they follow me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.